Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Chi Mary Hope. If it's your first time in this channel, I discuss everything from career, finance, family, and lifestyle. So my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for returning. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel before you leave. And for added benefits, please click on the notification bell so that you'll be informed every time I release a new video. Today, we are going to be discussing something very interesting. We're going to be looking at five areas that you can you know, specialize in your career that are highly lucrative and will be relevant in the next years to come. The first area we're looking at today, information and communication technology, ICT. This area is very broad and versatile. You can choose to you know, specialize in any part of it. You have computer science, you have programming, you have data science, data analytics, business analysis. Several, it's actually very, very, very broad. In fact, you can specialize any area within this ICT and you would find balance in terms of it being lucrative and still relevant. So from web programming, web design, graphics design, data analytics, business analytics, hacking, <laughs> gaming, all these fields fall under ICT. So please, if you are not yet sure, if you are not yet sure what area you want to specialize in your career, consider an area under ICT and I promise you, you're not going to regret it. The second area we're looking at, of course, is finance and accounting, or accounting and finance, however you choose to put it. Basically, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, with a finance degree and accounting degree, there's nowhere you will not be able to work. Your skills will be relevant in all organizations in the world. So you're the one that is not going to choose if you want to be a public accountant, if you want to just be a corporate accountant, if you want to be a government accountant and a non-profit accountant, or you want to even teach in academia. So you can watch my previous video on areas you can specialize in when you study accounting. So this course is going to be relevant in one million years to come and of course it's highly lucrative. At the beginning it might take your time to develop skills but once you have the relevant skills you will be indispensable. The Be third one we're going to be looking at is communication and media studies. So under this line when you see people who are um, working in TV, working in theatre, working in um, music industry, wherever marketing this course any any course under media and communication studies is actually lucrative and highly relevant because human beings are social beings we need to communicate with each other we need to market we need to advertise we need several things even in corporate organization they need somebody who has a specialist in this area you know they're able to communicate their value added to the to their potential clients and all of that so if you study communication and media studies if you choose an area under computer media studies, you cannot go wrong. So the fourth area we're looking at is medical science. Yes, at one point or the other, you have been to the hospital, right? So this is relevant. It has existed one million years before you were born, and still going to exist in the next one million, one billion years if the world continues. Under medical sciences, under science, we have medicine, we have nursing, we have physiotherapy. We have radiography, we have psychology, psychiatry, several, in fact, it's diverse. So if you have an interest in sciences and you're not even very sure, I think you should take your time to do some research in this area. It is very relevant and it is also very lucrative. So the final area you can look at is engineering. This also is very broad. So if, if you realize I've not particularly mentioned one course or the other, but I'm giving the areas I can look at so that you can consider what interests you the most. Under engineering, you have civil engineering, you have electrical engineering, you have chemical engineering, you have computer engineering. You have several areas under engineering. So please, if you like to be hands on, create structures, you like to create things, you like to design, you like to move things from ideas to no reality. Oh, finally, when it comes to career, there's no one size fits all for any individual. There are several options, diverse areas. This, these five areas I mentioned are just a few. If you do your research, you'll find a lot more. But what was important is that you should consider your personal abilities, you should consider your interests, you, con you should consider your natural giftings, your passion, what you can do consistently. So don't just jump in because I said, oh, it is lucrative and you want to go there. No, you have to be consistent. You have to also look for a career that when you do, you'll be fulfilled. Your career is very, very, very important. It, is a, it plays a very important role in your fulfillment at the end of the day so do not make a mistake and if, even if you feel like oh you made a mistake or where you are currently you do not like it you want to transition feel free to make a change but make sure you think about it clearly make sure you have a plan before taking the step yes you can have that quantum leap in your career 
take care i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe Charlie, if you found this video useful